Standby. For this standby, I'm reaching my afternoon slump, and it's time for a little caffeine pick-me-up. My drink of choice is usually some Dr. Pepper, but I always like it cold, so I add a lot of ice. I love how the ice keeps my Dr. Pepper really cold, but what I don't like is that the ice starts to melt and kind of water down my soda. Ice actually cools down your drink in two different ways. One is the way you typically think of. I mean, ice is cold, and so if you put something cold next to your drink, it makes your drink more cold. The other way that ice makes things cold is actually by melting. During the act of melting, when the water is changing phase from a solid to a liquid, it actually absorbs heat energy. But see, that's what I want to avoid, right? I don't want the ice to melt. What I want is ice that's colder than ice. So this ice cube I just took out of the freezer, and presumably it's pretty close to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right? I mean, it's melting in my hands, so it must be right at that melting point. I've got this awesome temperature gun. Let me check. Looks like it's like... 34 degrees. This ice is pretty cold. I mean, it's burning my hand because it's so cold, but I bet I could find some ice that's even colder. In our basement, we have a freezer that gets really, really cold. I always keep some ice in here for when I want to make snow cones. And I can check the temperature of this ice. It's just water ice, normal ice, but it's much colder. Look at that, minus five degrees Fahrenheit. That's like 40 degrees below freezing. If I put some of this really cold ice into my Dr. Pepper, it would keep the Dr. Pepper cold without watering it down. Cause it would take a while for this ice to warm up to the point where it's ready to melt. I should have thought about this a little more carefully. Oh boy, it's heating up. Who knew that you could heat up ice without even melting it? Stand by.